Hello, my name is Marty Myers, Whiskey 5, Mike Romeo Mike, and today I'm going to go over a few tips on how to set up the Buddy Stick. The Buddy Stick antenna system can be used in several configurations or for several applications. I personally have used this as my base antenna in my backyard, which is where we're at today. I've also used it to activate a couple of soda summits in West Texas, and I've taken it to the Caribbean where we've activated small islands, Key Calker, and Belize as well as St. Thomas in the U.S. Virgin Islands. To get started, the entire antenna system can be found in these two small bags. The bag on the left contains all of the antenna components, while the bag on the right is simply the mast that will hold the buddy stick up in the air. Inside the bag you'll see that we have several components. This includes all of the standard buddy stick components that come with the system, as well as several, several uh, components that I've added myself for ease of operation. The first component of the antenna system that you'll see here is the coax cable. I've got this strapped with a couple of pieces of Velcro. Uh, you'll see later in the video where we'll use those pieces of Velcro in setting up the antenna system. We have three guy lines that are on these kite uh, line winders that come from Buddy Pole, and uh, these are very handy to keep everything tied up and tidy within your pack. Another component of the antenna system is this piece of wire. That's effectively the second piece of the dipole antenna as you'll see in the second part of the video as well. We have the standard stakes for the guy lines, the two antenna sections that will screw together, two antenna whips, only one of which we'll use. The second whip is uh, just basically for an extra in case you break one, which can happen. I've added a couple of uh, pieces of 550 paracord a crescent wrench. Also a, uh, a multi-tool comes in handy in this kit. We have that here. It's pliers, knife, um, all kinds of different things come in there and that's useful in setting up the antenna system. Uh, I've also included a measuring tape uh, if you need to measure out a distance uh, for the for the wire. Uh, the second part of the dipole antenna you can use this for that. I have a little tripod mount here that came from Buddy Pole. Rarely use this, but uh, usually I would use this actually in a configuration different than, than the tripod configuration. I would probably bungee this to a pole or to a tree and use that top portion to connect to the, uh, the Buddy Stick adapter. We also have a clamp adapter here. You can hook that onto a railing or a fence or anything like that. And then you have the buddy stick adapter plate where the antenna will be set up. Uh, that piece of wire will be connected right here where my finger is at. And then the coax cable will be connected to that as well. So that forms the base of your antenna system. Other components that I find useful in this kit is the little operating manual that comes along with the antenna itself. And this is actually where the the ruler or tape measure would come in handy because it actually gives you some lengths of how long to make that wire. You'll see that my buddy stick coil has a lot of the coil clips already attached to it. And the reason for this is because I've already measured out this system to get it very close to how I'll operate in most situations on many different bands. This saves time setting it up and uh, reconfiguring it each time that you need to change bands. So we have 40 down there at the bottom. We have 30 over here in the red. I have 20 here in the yellow, and I have 10 up here in the green. So that gives me a lot of flexibility without having to do a lot of measurement and reconfiguration along the way. The buddy stick mask that I'm using here is the eight foot version. This is a shock corded version, and it actually breaks down so that it's only about 18 inches long when you're packing it. You'll see up here at the top that I have the buddy stick mast adapter. And then this is the, the bolt that will connect that to the buddy stick mounting plate. I already have that installed here. Just screws off and on easily. You can take it off if you'd like, but I just leave it on there. The buddy pull shock cord mast goes together very easily. You just pull out the ends and it almost puts itself together. The little pieces are keyed, so there's only one way that they can go and it goes to, together very quickly and easily. 
The next piece that you'll need is this piece of Velcro. It has three little loops here where your guy lines will connect. Now if you take this piece of Velcro and just put it around the mast, no matter how tight you think you've got it, you'll see that it slides up and down the mast. Because of that, I've taken some duct tape and I've wrapped around the mast here above one of the sections where it connects together towards the top. And then when you put this piece of Velcro around the mast, all the pressure will be pulling down on it and you'll see that it will not slide anywhere. It catches against the duct tape. So that's another tip that you can use when putting this together. The guy lines have these little clips that will clip right onto the little fabric loops that are on this adapter that goes on the uh, buddy stick mast. What I do to start is I take two of these and connect them onto the velcro piece and then I run them out. I run these out at about a 45 degree angle and just go shortly past the end of the mast. Once you have the guy line out as long as you would like it, go ahead and take the line and just wrap it around this little keeper on the kite winder a couple of times and then set it down on the ground. Once you have the two guy lines run out in this manner, then you go ahead and place in the stakes to hold it down to the ground. Once you have the two guy lines run out, you can go ahead and pick up the mast and set it up vertically with pressure against the two guy lines that you already have in place. At this point you'll take your third guy line, connect it into the loop, and as you see, as you pull it out, you don't have to worry about the mast falling down. You already have it in the right position. So you pull it out, tie it off in the same manner that you did before, and place your last stick. So I have a PL259 to BNC adapter that I keep affixed to the uh, buddy stick plate at all times. It's already on there, so I can just go ahead and use that. And the next piece is to take your coil and make sure that the, uh, the pieces are all tight on here. And then you can screw that onto the, uh, the buddy stick plate. At this point you can choose the band that you'd like to work. In my case I'm going to work 20 meters, so I'm going to go ahead and put the little banana plug uh, keeper in there, and then I'll put together the antenna sections. Now at this point I don't extend the whip, but I've got pretty much the entire antenna together here. And now we'll go over to the mast and put it on. So what you can do, the nice thing about the 8 foot mast is that you can actually reach up and grab the top portion. And then you can unscrew this. And as we mentioned before, I've already got the uh, buddy stick mast adapter on here. I'll take the antenna itself. And I kind of use my shoulder here to hold this up. Okay, so you'll just screw this nut on, so you've got the buddy stick plate connected to the uh, mast adapter here. Make sure you've got it screwed all the way on, you get a nice, nice tight connection there. And then the next piece is you'll want to connect the wire assembly. So unscrew this portion of a coil clip that they've used here. Take the little terminal connector of your wire assembly. and screw that back on. Now you want to make sure that you give yourself enough slack on this wire so that once you've adjusted the mast or put the mast back up 
that you have access to the wire to string it out at a longer distance. Once you have the wire assembly in place, you want to hold the mast here, or hold the antenna sections, and start pulling out your whip. Now there's six sections to the whip. I like to pull them out one section at a time, so there's two, three, four, five, and one that we missed down here is six. Once you have that, walk your hands up the antennas, up to the mast, and put the mast in place. The last thing that you want to do when you're putting this antenna up is to make sure that you have the mast and the antenna in a good vertical position. So you'll want to take a few steps back, have a look at it from a couple of different angles, and then you can just pick up the bottom and adjust the bottom end as necessary to get the mast vertical. Now you'll want to have uh, something to be able to hold up the end of the wire assembly once you get it spooled out. Uh, here at home, I actually have this pulled out baseball tee that I use. Uh, you could use a stick if you're in the field. Uh, I've used things like beach chairs, branches on trees, um, hooks that I've screwed into the side of a, of a tree and things like that. Um, but in this case, we'll just use this little tee and I'll set this here. We'll go over to where the wire assembly is at. Make sure it's free of any obstructions and then just start railing it out. As we continue to wind this out, we'll see that I came to a piece of tape that I have here. It's just a piece of black duct tape. In this case, this has two lines put on here with a silver Sharpie paint pen and the two lines denotes that this is for 20 meters. I have these same types of pieces of tape spread throughout this wire at lengths that have already been measured with an antenna analyzer. This makes it really easy to deploy. I just hook that on, pull this out, make sure that the wire is up off the ground two to three feet, connect it on to whatever I'm going to use, and then we're ready to uh, connect the coax. Okay, as mentioned before, we already have our PL259 to BNC adapter connected here. If we keep that connected all the time, then we don't have to worry about losing the piece or having to reconnect it at any point in time. At this point, you take the uh, coax that came with the buddy stick. This is a 25 foot run. You can also get a 50 foot run and just pop it on the BNC connector there. Now, one thing that I like to do is I take a piece of Velcro that you can fold back on itself around the mast and create a little stress relief or strain relief here. So I leave a little bit of a loop of, of coax. And we'll go ahead and connect that up. If you want, you could put a full loop around here and then that would allow that, if it ever got pulled, to stay in place. I haven't had a problem with that in the past, so I just leave it like that. And then string the coax out to your radio or your operating position. So those are my tips and tricks for setting up a buddy stick antenna quickly and easily. If you go ahead and have everything measured, each time you put it up, it's really easy to do. If you use an antenna tuner, you're not going to have to mess with those measurements very much. If you don't have an antenna tuner, you might want to use an analyzer or look for the SWR meter on your radio itself to make sure that you have a good match. Thanks for watching the video. Again, I'm Marty Myers, W5MRM. Thanks.